Good afternoon, Kingdom King and Priest Peter Spencer. I love you, my brother and sister. I love you. Pray today you had an awesome and wonderful day, for this is the day that the Lord has still made. Let us rejoice and still be glad in the, in the name of Jesus Christ. Today I want to read to you Acts chapter 19, starting at verse 24, going to verse 30, and it reads this wise. For a certain man named Demetrius, a silversmith, which made silver shrines for Diana, brought no small gain unto the craftsmen, whom he called together with the workmen of like occupation, and said, Sirs, you know that by the craft we have our wealth. Moreover, you see in here that not alone at Ephesus, but almost throughout all Asia, this Paul has persuaded and turned away much people, saying that they be no gods which are made with hands, so that not only this our craft is in danger to be set at naught, but also that the temple of the great goddess Diana should be despised and her, her magnificent should be destroyed, whom all Asia and the world worship. And when they heard these sayings, they were full of wrath and cried out, saying, Great is Diana of the Ephesians. And the whole city was filled with confusion and having caught Gaius and Ar Arstarchus, Men of Macedonia, Paul's companion in trouble, they rushed with one accord into the theater. And when Paul would have entered in unto the city, unto the people, the disciples suffered him not. The word is already blessed, my brothers and sisters. So with that being said, let's go to the throne of grace. I repent for all confusion upon me in my heart, my spirit, and soul. I cast it down in the name of Jesus Christ, and I renounce it now and cleanse it with the blood of Jesus Christ. Holy and wise Father, I come today knowing that you are not the author of confusion. So I know that I must come by faith to approach the throne today, asking you for the peace for all the kingdom and the body of Christ Jesus. For your kingdom come, your will be done on this earth as it is in heaven. Today, let us forsake our ways, our thoughts, our minds, and help us to grab upon the yoke of Jesus Christ, where there is no confusion. We renounce double-minded. That is keeping us unstable and our prayers not being answered. Help us, holy and wise Father, the Holy Creator. Help us to forsake the ways of the flesh and pick up a mind of Christ. That we will do everything in love. Talk, walk, and have power, knowledge, and wisdom in your perfect and holy love. Let your Holy Spirit help us to renounce those things that has us in confusion, that we walk in boldness and know your good and perfect will for the saints in Christ Jesus. So give us today our righteous identity in Christ Jesus as joint heirs. Let us know in the Spirit. Let us hear in the Spirit. Let us run in the Spirit with patience and love. For love covers a multitude of sins, so righteous one, we lay in all confusion aside, coming out of agreement and coming to agreement with you in the name of Jesus Christ, that we, your sons and daughters, do it your way without confusion. We thank you. We bless you. As we ask, seek, find, knock with the abundant life of Jesus Christ, we say yes and amen, amen and amen. I love you, my brothers and sisters. You have an awesome and wonderful day.